Hi everyone, this little device is a very powerful power bank. This is the Anui P63. It has a power capacity of up to 100 watts and it has 25,000 mAh battery. In this video, I'm gonna show you what comes in its box and I'll be performing a series of tests on it. So let's start first by opening the box and seeing what's inside. Let's open the box. So this is everything we got in the box. We have a USB-C to USB-C cable of a good quality, a carrying pouch, some documentation, and the small power bank. So if I want to compare this power bank to a full-size 25 milliampere hour power bank, see how smaller it is. And for the thickness, it is barely thicker than the normal size one. So this is good. And let me now weigh it for you to see how much it weighs. And it weighs 399 grams as opposed to 485 grams to a full size 25,000 milliampere hour power bank. This power bank has the following ports and controls. It has USB-C1 which is at the same time input and output. As output it can output up to 100 watts and for input it can take a maximum of 65 watts. It has USB-C2 that is output only and it can deliver up to 45 watts. And it has USB-A that has a power of 18 watts maximum. On the side of the power bank, you have this button here. It is to check how much charge is left in the power bank. So it comes charged to 56% from the factory. What I'm going to do now is that I'm going to charge it with a 140 watts charger. And we're going to see how much power maximum it will draw from this charger. So this is a charger. It can deliver up to 140 watts on this port. And this USB-C cable has a capacity of 240 watts. So you need to connect it on port 1 on USB-C. And we're going to see. So for now it is drawing 64 watts. So it's going from 64 to 66 watts. The test that you're seeing now is to see if this power bank can provide the 100 watts that it promised from the USB-C 1 output. And you notice that I'm charging here my power station. And you notice that the power bank is giving around 96 watts, which is very good. Now, to be able to obtain the 96 watts, I had to use my cable that is rated at 240 watts, as I said, because the cable that comes with the power bank is limited to 65 watts. And I tested it and it only gave 65 watts here. Now, if we test the USB-C 2, it should give 45 watts. So let's test it. And here it is giving 45 watts exactly. And let's test now the USB-A output. And it should give 18 watts. So let's put it here. And now let's put it in the power station. And let's see if it gives 18 watts. And it's stabilized at 19 watts, which is also accurate. So the three outputs give what is promised. But the USB-1 output gives 96 watts as opposed to 100 watts that it should give. And this is a margin of error and it's not a big deal. In this test, I'll be charging my MacBook Air M1 from empty to full and the power bank is fully charged at 100%. So I'm gonna connect the charger now to the MacBook Air and the MacBook will start because it was completely depleted. And I'm gonna put it to sleep afterwards and continue the test. So let's check now at one hour what is the battery level and it is filled at 69% and there is 49% remaining in the power bank. So it took the MacBook Air to charge fully two hours and seven minutes and it consumed 77% of the 25,000 milliampere hour from this power bank. So it took the power bank 19,250 milliampere hours to charge the MacBook Air M1 that has a battery of only 4,380 milliampere hours. But you should take into consideration that at the beginning of the charging, the MacBook Air was running and it was consuming battery. And later, the MacBook was in sleep mode most of the time. So this is not a bad result, but I was expecting a little bit better. The following test is to test the efficiency of this power bank. So I charged it to 100% and this is also a power bank. This is a B63. It is at 0% and this is also 25,000 milliampere hour. So I'm going to use the P63 to charge this one. And then we're going to calculate the efficiency of this one by seeing how much it can charge 
this B63 power bank. So I'm gonna connect it to the out here, which is 45 watts, and this is for the in here, and the charging should start now. And here it is charging, so I'm gonna fast forward this video to when the charging ends. So the P63 power bank charged the B63 power bank to 76%. And this is a very good score. And I'm gonna now prove it to you by performing a simple efficiency score calculation for the P63. So let's do this calculation. So remember the B63 charged to 76% and it has 25,000 milliampere hour capacity. So 25,000 times dot 76 equal 19,000 milliampere hour. And let's say that the B63 power bank has 15% loss. So we need to add 15% to 19,000 so that to get the correct number. So 19,000 times 1.15. So the P63 power bank was able to give the B63 power bank 21,850 milliampere hours. So now we need to calculate this number, how much percentage it is from 25,000. So let's divide it by 25,000 and then multiply it by 100. And we see that the small P63 power bank has an efficiency score of 87.4 and this is a very good score. So overall, I like almost everything about this power bank. One thing that I wanted to be better is that they should have provided it with a 100 watts cable instead of the 65 watts cable. So for you to be able to benefit from the 100 watts output without having to purchase another cable. If you wanna check out this P63 power bank, I'm gonna leave an affiliate link in the description below. If you liked my video, please share it, subscribe to my channel, and give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. I wanna thank you all for watching. I'm Eloy from Stuff Around the House. See you in the next video.